Russia presses Belarus to send army to Ukraine. In recent weeks, there have been several notable political events forming a certain logical chain which should be analyzed and comprehended, Belarusian political scientist Vital Shyanku writes on Facebook. As early as the 3rd of June, Lukashenko speaks of tension on the Ukrainian border and says that recently there have allegedly been thousands of calls to military commissariats from people asking to be taken into the army and given weapons. Belarusian troops move to the Ukrainian border to the appropriate howls of propaganda. On July the 13th, during a visit to the 56th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment in Luninets district, unexpectedly, as it seems, even for the generals, Lukashenko declares about the elimination of tension at the border with Ukraine. Now we do not have any complications with the Ukrainians and I hope we will not have any in the future. Therefore, there should not be any unnecessary activities, the expert says. The troops are indeed withdrawn, which is confirmed by both Belarusian generals and Ukrainian sources. And what's next? And then Russian drones, carrying up to 40 kilograms of explosives, suddenly start flying over Belarus. One of them reportedly flew about 350 kilometers across the territory of Belarus on the night of July the 13th in the direction of Slavonic Bazaar, where Lukashenko was. Coincidence? I don't think so. I think we are witnessing a rather significant turn. Earlier, proceeding from all public statements and actions known to us, we drew conclusions that Lukashenko had managed to convince Putin that the direct participation of Belarusian troops in the war was unnecessary. So this state of affairs is very likely to change now. It seems that Moscow is pushing and insisting with various hints and concrete actions, such as the ones I described above, demanding from Lukashenko to join the war, he added. A fire that broke out at the First Baptist Dallas Church, a landmark in the city's downtown, appeared to cause major damage to an old part of the church complex. Dallas Fire Rescue did not immediately provide information about the fire, but a spokesman told the Dallas Morning News that part of the structure had collapsed. According to the Dallas Fire Department, crews arrived to heavy smoke and fire. According to CBS News Texas meteorologist Jeff Ray, smoke and heat from the fire could be picked up on radar. Videos posted to social media showed the building engulfed in orange flames and black smoke billowing to the sky. Witnesses reported hearing a loud blast. Gavin Nicholson, who lives in a high-rise apartment complex that overlooks the church complex, confirmed that it looked like a roof collapse, he could see flames coming from the center of the building. No one was hurt in the blaze, which started shortly after the church had held a Bible school event that included 2,000 children. We are grateful that no life has been lost that we know of even though we just had 2,000 children and volunteers on campus for vacation Bible school, said Robert Jeffress, the church's senior pastor, in a statement. As tragic as the loss of this old sanctuary is, we are grateful that the church is not bricks and wood but composed of over 16,000 people who are determined more than ever before to reach the world for the gospel of Christ. Please pray for all of First Baptist Dallas, he added. First Baptist Dallas is a Baptist church located in Dallas, Texas that dates back to 1890. Considered a significant landmark in downtown Dallas, the church said the sanctuary was the site of visits from Presidents Woodrow Wilson, Gerald Ford, and George Bush. President Donald Trump visited the new worship center of the church in 2021. Oh wow, look babe, I think it's gonna get the sequel.